All right, so I'm here with a, a victorious uh, Katleko Kanisa, the new Gauteng champion. How does it feel? And the new! Ah, it feels great. It feels great, Hayden. I'm glad that I'm, I'm here to like share the, 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 the victory with everyone who's close to me, around me, and I'm grateful that you're here to interview me as a champion this time around because I did say that I'm gonna, the next time we talk, I'm going to be the next Gauteng lightweight champion. There was talks uh, from you before the fight as well. You wanted to go all 10. You know, you got that experience now of going all 10 against a very, very good boxer, come forward fighter and talent Beloy. And um, what's your assessment of him and uh, also yourself? Uh, to be honest, man, he's, he's a strong fighter, but that's what I expected. I, I thought he'd rush more in the beginning, so that's why I was kind of slow getting up into my rhythm. But I'm sure from the fourth round, I started seeing him, I started moving around him, and I started seeing his game plan. Yeah, started outworking him and outboxing him from there onwards. And, uh, and, and your scorecard for this fight, uh, how would you score uh, the fight if you were the judge? I'd definitely say I took the seven rounds over, over the so whole seven ten. To three. Yeah, seven to three. Okay. So you felt good going into that last round because I know you put on the intensity and you definitely looked like you needed to, you know, put uh, go into the next gear. That's true. That's true. I was just a little frustrated with <laughs> my mouth constantly like popping out. I just needed to get a tighter grip, or maybe it's just about time that I get a new one. But other than that, nah, man, I I was quite happy. I was feeling good. I could have honestly gone another two rounds, even if it was a twelve rounder. So I'm quite ready for the SA title. Uh, my 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 demeanor, my demeanor says so. My my stamina says so. My team possibly be definitely believes I'm ready. So. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. I'm glad. I'm glad to be in this position as the new Gauteng champion. And I wanted to get your thoughts on that because it felt like an elimination fight between you and Beloy. Seeing as Kane Faris, he's gone ahead and done an eight-rounder against Lusanda Komenisi. Do you think that uh, puts you now in line for the shots against Kaiba Sakwa? I, I definitely hope that's the case. I definitely hope that's the case because that's that's where my, 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 my focus is at. My focus is to being the best in SA. And I've been calling everybody out. I've already got the Gauteng title, and now the next person to be calling out is Kaya. I want his belt. I want it. I need it. It is mine. I believe it. So let's make it happen. How does it feel, the fact that you were calling out Talent Beloy just about a year ago, you got in the ring and actually proved to everyone that you can do it? Look, man, it's, it's, you always got to believe in yourself in everything that you do, whether it's sports, whether it's just something you want to achieve. If you don't believe in yourself... Uh, you're already too many steps behind. So don't give anyone else the doubts that tells you you won't be able to do it. First, you got to believe it yourself because there's nobody better than you and then everything else will just start falling into place. One thing that I was taken back by was um, how you visibly wobbled Beloy a few times in the fight. I didn't know you had that sort of power in you. Uh, did you shock yourself? Honestly, yes, I did. And it, it was actually the right hand that was broken. So... At some times there, I was thinking kind of cautious, waiting for those pins and needles to kick in. But I was 100% sure that Colin did a great work on my hand and I knew he was protecting it at all times. So there was no way I was going to break it again. And broken bones heal stronger. That's what they say, right? So definitely that today was a great test and it showed quite well that it's, it's good and it's ready to, to rock to rock some people. And you stuck uh, throughout the whole fights in Orthodox. Uh, I think some people including myself, would have thought you would have switched to Southport at some stage, you know, test it out. Um, obviously, you're very confident in, in being back into your natural stance. Definitely, definitely. I, I, I want to get more stronger and establish a stronger base because I think if I start switching too much, I will not be able to, like, grasp that sit down and properly land some good shots. So today was a great uh, experience to try and like see within the, especially in the late rounds where I was like catching and shooting. Uh, I saw that I do have the ability. So I'm still going to concentrate more on that. And if there is reason to, to incorporate the South Pole, hey, that's, that's a plus side on it. But I definitely know that I'm strong as, a, as an orthodox. All right, Colin, can you just uh, pull in? I just want to ask, um Naturally, I mean, he's, he's sort of calling for the SA title against Kai Bosako, which isn't, which isn't a bad request. Uh, what, what, what would you think is next for him? Well, if you think that Talent Boloi got a draw against Bosako and he was very, very... Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> very un, uh, unlucky to get a draw. I mean, I, I called that fight, I think it was about a year and a half ago, two years ago, and I thought, I thought Talent actually beat him. I don't think it's a far-fetched story. I think it's a story that's not make-believe. I think um, I really do believe the story. And I, and I believe that Katz has the ability to beat Pusakwa. Um, 
Bissak was coming off a great win against, um, uh, no, no, no. Ayan and Kwasi. Ayan and sorry. Ayan he spent some time in my gym. So that was a really, really good win. Um, I don't know what the future, I think he's actually promoted by TLB. So that could be a humdinger. Um, Boxing 5 and TLB are working very closely together. So that could be definitely on the cards for maybe early next year. Um, maybe one more fight, but I think if we get the shot now, I think we could be sitting, in fact, I don't think, or I don't think we could be, I know we will be sitting with the new South African lightweight champion. So he's confident in his ability. I think, you know, after round seven, after he buzzed Beloya, I said, this is going to separate the boys from the men and the men from the boys. And he really put down hard. He dominates in nine and 10. And just what an outstanding performance, great conditioning, you know, great footwork. And I just thought, I agree with him. I had it seven to three. The split decision was a fucking joke. It, re it really was a joke. Um, but, you know, he's unbeaten. Talent's a great fighter. Big shout out to him and Sebastian putting up a really, really good fight. But, uh, yeah, I think next year we, we, we're looking at the new South African lightweight champion. All right, and I'm happy my, my show's not PG because, you know, you just had to throw in that swear word there. Uh, I'm, I'm so you can buzz it. No, 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 I'll leave it. It's, 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 I like it like that. Yeah. That's, uh, adv advertisers love that. It's, it's real, you know? Yeah. No, the advertisers love it. Yeah. Okay, cool. Sorry. Maybe Sorry to all the prospective sponsors out there. Yeah. I apologize. <laughs> okay. All right. And uh, Kadleko, just going back to you really quickly. Um, obviously, you're going to take in the moment uh, as the Gauteng champion. Um, if, if you don't get the opportunity at the SA title next, uh, would you like to defend the belt again or do something like that? Of course, of course. I mean, at this point, consistency and being, being uh, active is what's going to keep me fit and keep me in the position for what's coming next, the next big thing. I don't want to sit for too long. Like I say, I've already had an injury layoff, which set me out for like six months or so. I'd like to be back at it again, not more than four months. So if we can get anything lined up, whether I'm defending, whether it's going for the SA title, I'm here. Katele Miyama is going for everything. And, and before I take away your moments, run a quick, a quick word for your cheap sparring partner, Lorato Clamini, who's fighting in uh, Japan in a huge uh, eliminator for the second position in the IBF. Uh, any words for him? All the best, all the best, Larato. You've been doing what you had to do, man. Nobody works harder than you in this world. You know it, we know it, so do what you got to do. Yeah, just big shout out to TLB. Uh, also, thanks to my partners, Ludumo, Rios and Larry, for letting us take this fight. Um, you know, it wasn't for Boxing 5. And I spoke to them. I said, look, it's a great fight. We've been offered it. And uh, they were very understanding and very supportive of Kat and us doing, doing this fight. So big shout out to TLB and, of course, Boxing 5. And, um, you know, next year, let's get the South African title fight going. Let's, it's, it's a great fight. Um, it's a it's going to be a clash of styles. I think one guy's very long, one guy's very shifty. Um, Busako is a big puncher with the right hand. Cat proved that he can take it against a good puncher in Talent Beloy. Let's do it. Let's do it next year. I'm very excited about that fight. 100%. That's a very good fight uh, for all the audience out there. Kadleko, um, just lastly from yourself, uh, do you have any thank yous, any shout outs, anything lastly to say? Of course, of course. Thank you so much to my opponent again, Talent. Taking the fight, it was a great fight. You were a strong boxer, but someone's all had to go, and fortunately, it was me that was came out as a victorious at the end of the day. And big shout out to TLB for the opportunity, and for Boxing Five for being able to to be versatile with their boxes, allowing us to be like you know, uh, venture out and keep keep active and get a lot of fights. And big shout out to my sponsors, the Infel Twins. I'm coming, I'm coming back with the belt, boys. I'm coming back with the belt to inspire you guys. I know you guys are preparing for to become the SAA champions. You're already the Gauteng champions. So I'm also on that journey. The score, the journey to the SAA champions. And on that, also thank you so much to the fans, my family, my friends, everybody who's always there coming to support me. Without you, it wouldn't be the same. Without you, I would, there wouldn't be any reason to be boxing. Thank you so much. And to you, Hayden, oh. XA Boxing Talk, always, always here to cover us and make sure that we're out there, we are being seen and we are relevant. Shout out to you. Thank you very much and uh, enjoy your night as the Gauteng champion. Yes, sir. And then you.